So this is the Goal Zero, 12 volt regulated cable sold by Goal Zero as an accessory to their Yeti lithium generators. It cost 40 bucks from Goal Zero, but I bought mine from Amazon at the same price, mostly for the 5% back. According to the packaging, this cable is used to regulate the 12 volt output to a consistent voltage, quote, improving capability with 12 volt powered devices. It's funny that you need a separate accessory to have a consistent voltage on a thousand dollar generator, but that's okay. It's only 40 bucks. Now, why would you need this, you might ask? Well, if you intend to run any 12 volt refrigerator straight off of your battery, you're gonna run into some issues because Goal Zero's 12 volt output is not regulated, which means the voltage isn't consistent, which means that if you wanna run a fridge off DC power reliably, you need to buy this accessory from Goal Zero. This includes any 12 volt item you might be running off of your generator. Fridge, CPAP machine, these are not things that you wanna risk shutting off in the middle of the night. When running my fridge on AC, I consistently get above 14.4 volts, so the fridge never shuts off. The downside is that it kills nearly double the power. So it looks like you plug the male Anderson power poles into the 12 volt output underneath the traditional 12 volt cigarette input, and then you plug the 12 volt plug from the fridge into the other end. So I'm gonna unplug the AC power and switch it to the 12 volt plug so you can see the error that I receive on the 12 volt. Excuse my filthy ass mess, everything is constantly under construction. So you can see here that even though I'm on 12.3 volts DC, I immediately receive the F1 error on my fridge. This is basically my fridge saying, hey, I'm gonna turn myself off to protect your battery, okay? Okay, except that don't fly with me because I got half a dozen eggs and flax milk chilling in there and I wanna eat breakfast in the morning. So now I'm gonna plug the 12 volt from my fridge into this new accessory and see what happens. Ba bam 14 volt consistent, no F1 error. Cool. I guess that it is as advertised. If it doesn't hold up, I'll let you know, but if you're encountering F1 errors on your van fridge, a regulated power supply is what you might need. Hope this helps.